This is an Arc Flash Safety Minute presented by eHazard. Hi, I'm Hugh Hoagland from Arcware and eHazard, and this is another Arc Flash Minute. Unfortunately, because of the crisis right now, I'm filming from my home. In the last few weeks, we've been fielding questions about disinfecting or sanitizing shared PPE, specifically Arc Flash suit hoods. While the best way to prevent transmission of viruses and bacteria is to properly wash the garment, detergent and warm water work well according to the CDC and the NIH guidelines. This was posted in an eHazard blog article last week, but shared Arc Flash PPE hoods could still be a problem. Hoods and shields can't be laundered in a washing machine, and some hoods are kind of difficult to put back together once you've taken them apart for proper cleaning. Even, though, even if you don't share PPE, you need to clean and disinfect and sanitize this frequently. Now, many people have asked about using wipes or bleach solution or alcohol-based disinfecting sprays like Lysol to sanitize their PPE. We've actually seen a video of someone that used bleach solution, uh, one exposure, and we may, it may or may not hurt things. It definitely won't hurt the flame resistance short term. But we have tested a fabric with Lysol spray, and we're sharing our preliminary results, and we think that'll help. According to the Lysol website, to kill viruses, the porous surface must be sprayed for two to three seconds and remain wet for three minutes and allowed to air dry. So we applied Lysol as directed by the label to one of our commonly tested lab control fabrics, a very repeatable 8812 cotton nylon blend. And we also then had performed vertical flame tests using ASTM D6413. Now that's a standard that just is a small flame, but if something's gonna catch on fire and keep burning, it exposes it very well. These tests were performed as directed by the standard, except that we left the chamber door open so that we'd be able to clearly videotape it. So now here you'll see on the left a fabric that was sprayed with Lysol and allowed to dry prior to exposing it to the flame. In the middle is a fabric that was sprayed with Lysol 50 times and allowed to dry between each application. And on the right, a fabric that was sprayed with Lysol and then immediately exposed to the flame while the Lysol was still wet. While the single exposure on the left, the middle exposure of 50, uh, which was allowed to dry, had no significant effect on the char length or the after flame time. After flames, when you take the flame away and it keeps burning, the immediate exposure on that alcohol-based disinfecting spray that was not allowed to dry showed quite a bit of extent of after flaming. This increased after flame could potentially be breathed in by a worker inside an arc flash hood if there was an arc flash. So if you're gonna use these alcohol-based disinfecting sprays, make sure you follow the sprays and directions, and it's important to let them dry completely before you start work. Now this method may work for disinfecting shared suits from viruses as claimed by the manufacturers, but check the spray on a small area of a face shield to assure that it doesn't mar the visibility of the face shield or affect its antifog. Arcware can't guarantee this method for the long run, but we wanted to share it as part of our commitment to protect workers from Arc Flash and COVID-19. Please note this project was self-funded by our test lab, Arcware, as a public service. We don't sell or promote any brand of PPE or disinfecting spray, and you may choose to use a different disinfecting spray that's listed by the EPA, and that link is also in our, uh, in our article on the eHazard blog. But we only evaluated this one for a quick study because we had it in the office. If you find this information, helpful, please share it on your social media so it can educate more people. Your feedback's appreciated. We love to have any more ideas you have for testing, and we'll do whatever we can during this crisis. eHazard, taking the flash out of electrical safety.